Hi, welcome to the video Spring Boot How to Run Code Upon Startup with me Nam Ha Ming from CodeJava.net In this uh, video, I'd like to share with you how to run your own custom logic right after your Spring application has started Here, Upon Startup means that the Spring application context has been initialized and all bins have been created and you can use uh, command line runner or application event listener to run your own code upon startup of a Spring Boot application. Now, let me show you the first way which you can use to run code upon startup of a Spring based application using command line runner. So, you need to uh, implement a method that uh, declares a bin of type common line runner like this in a configuration class like this and put the code that needs uh, to be executed upon startup uh, in this uh, block for example insert some sample records upon startup into the database okay let me show you the code in action so i have a java spring boot project here uh, it is a, a symbol a spring based application that provides a rest api or restful web services let me start the application first and in this uh, application i need to initialize some sample data upon startup of the application you see the application uh, has been started successfully here and uh, implement some uh, API endpoints uh, such as uh, employees slash employees and uh, order slash orders here yeah. now yeah, I can use the uh, curl uh, program to test the API employees you see there's no employee now and others others you see no others now now let me update the code to initialize the sample data upon startup new java class application config and uh, annotate this class using the um, configuration annotation so it is a spring configuration class let me stop the application all right and declare a bin of type command line runner and uh, give the method a name uh, for example init database and we used a lambda expression return arguments like this and put the code that needs to be executed upon startup here all right for now i just uh, print something here sample data initialize all right and let me start the application start all right and you can see the last line in the control uh, prints sample data initialized that means the code inside this method inside this block uh, got executed upon the application startup you see all right and uh, I want to uh, insert some sample data into the database so in this uh, method I can uh, use other components uh, such as uh, repositories so in this project I have employee repository and other repository which are two JPA repository interfaces so I can declare the repositories uh, as method parameters in this method employee repository employee report and other repository other report 
employee report set a new employee and I have the entity class employee here the constructor that takes the first name, last name and role for example num uh, and role is admin import the employee class and I also put an order object proceed an order object into the database order report save a new order I also have the uh, order entity class here description and status description MacBook and other status, other status. Import the other class. Other status, sorry, status here. Yeah. Okay, and import the other class. All right, and save the change all right you see sample data initialized and now i can test the api orders you see there's one order here let me format the response you see there's one order here macbook in progress and let me check the api uh, that list uh, employees you see one employee name uh, admin here so that means the code in this method uh, got executed upon startup so I used it to uh, initialize some sample data in the database make sense and when using Kermit Runner for running code upon startup you can uh, create a new class that implements the Kermit Runner interface and override its uh, run method and put the code that needs to be executed upon application startup here okay let me show you okay so I command this uh, configuration annotation so this class uh, will not uh, be uh, executed so I create a new Java class for example load database and I use the component annotation and have it uh, implement the interface command line runner and override is uh, run method yeah okay so the run method will get uh, executed upon the application startup uh, after all the beans have been created after the spring application context uh, has been initialized so because i want to use employee repository and other repository so i want to declare employee repository here employee report and other repository here other report and I want to auto why this uh, the interfaces uh, via contractor contractor using fields generate okay okay and I put the code that insert uh, some several data here inside the run method I add two employees and two others Ravi Kumar customer and the second order iPhone and status is completed okay and start the application
Okay. Mm, I forgot to put a system out print line here. Uh, no problem. Uh, let me check the API here. Employees. You see, there are two employees, Namha and Ravi Kumar here. And check the API for others. You see, there are two others. MacBook in progress and iPhone completed. That means the code inside the run method here got executed upon the application startup. And the second way which you can use to run your custom logics, your own code upon startup is using the application event listener. You code a class that implements the application listener interface with the type is context refresh event like this and override its method on application event and put the code that needs to be executed upon startup in this uh, event method. Okay, let me show you in uh, the project here. Let me create a new Java class. For example, app uh, startup listener and implement the interface is uh, application event sorry application listener application listener finish and override the method ah sorry uh, we need to add the um, parameter type is the context refresh event here and implement override the method uh, on application event and we'll also annotate this class using the component annotation all right and put the code that needs uh, to be executed upon startup here uh, for example initializing the database so i copy this code Initialize sample data. All right, and uh, run the application. Start. All right, you see. All right, you see it prints initialized sample data here. Just uh, right after the application has started, and let me test using curl here. Okay, two orders and employees. Okay, two employees. So that's another way to run your custom logic, your own code upon application startup using application listener. You need to listen to the context refresh event and note that this method uh, uh, may be uh, executed uh, more than one time because it is called uh, each time the context uh, rest refresh so you may need to put the code that text for state in the component to make sure the initialization code uh, rest executed only once make sense And when using application event listener, you can also use the event listener annotation like this instead of uh, implementing the application listener interface. Okay, let me show you. Now, there's a code here. Uh, now, we don't implement the application listener interface. And instead of overriding, we use the event listener annotation like this. Okay, and I'll run the application again. You see, initialized sample data. So this uh, way is uh, uh, simpler, right? 
just use the event listener annotation okay so that you will have learned how to run code upon startup of uh, spring boot application let me sum up the main ways in which you can use to uh, execute your custom logic upon application startup uh, firstly you can use command line runner as a bin in a configuration class like this or you can implement the command line runner interface in a component class like this and override the run method and you can use application event listener like this uh, called a component class that implements the application listener for the event context and refreshed event and override the on application event method or you can use the event listener in a component class like this and specify the parameter of the method is a event type uh, for example context refresh event i hope you found this uh, video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thanks for watching